Hello, um, ladies and gentlemen. I am Amara Gofa, the owner of uh, Teresa Hill here in uh, Bamako. So today, 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 I am going to show you how to do a quick uh, sensitive analysis that will let you understand the plasticity of your soil. So that is if your soil has a lot of uh, plastic in it, which is just to say how cohesive is your uh, soil, if that makes sense. So there's uh, plasticity, plasticity, plasticity uh, a test that you do, and that plasticity test will enable you to understand if your soil is cohesive and enough or not and uh, so we have a laterite soil here and i'm just going to do a very quick analysis to show you what you can do to understand the plasticity of your soil so i have uh, a bucket of water here and what i will do is just get a chunk of the soil and then water it like this just water some part of the soil like this and then begin to mix it a little bit and just take a sample like this not too much water just a bit to make it uh, to bring it like to a, a dough like this and then what you do is from this you just remove a chunk a bit and then start to roll it out like this and what we are looking for here is basically we want to be able to roll this in such a way that it doesn't break apart so if the soil is very very uh, is the, if the plastic in the soil is very very high when you roll this it should be able to stick to each other without breaking as you can see this is starting to break and this we can start to understand that the plasticity of the soil is not as high as uh, it is it's not as high in the soil and actually for us to be able to use this test to produce control uh, compressed stabilized earth bricks we just have to let me just do it one more time so I can quickly tell you based on this test here I don't know it's windy I don't know if you can hear me based on this test here I can tell you that the plasticity of the soil is low because it's not sticking well I mean it has enough plastic to be able to make compressed earth bricks out of this because based on the experiment we've been doing the plasticity of the soil will enable you to amend because like this soil we haven't analyzed it yet but if the plastic is high enough and uh, you need it to add more sand to make for to make up for the sand that is not in the soil the plasticity is great in that regard but if you just want to use the virgin soil without the use of any sand in it like without any additional soil the bricks are gonna look like really really great but after a while it will start cracking because it has a lot of uh, plastic content within that clay clay soil so the, so the clay is too much which is why there's a lot of plastic so clay, ha clay has this uh, characteristics of being like uh, sticking to, 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 to like sticking like being sticky so you can see if I try to roll it it breaks apart which is to say that this soil here has lower plasticity in it so you can see yeah so based on this test we can say that this soil has a lot of uh, less uh, plastic content in it and I think if without because I'm trying to show you how to uh, do this uh, sensitive analysis but based on my experience even by doing this 
I can start to understand that it's more sandy than clay which means it's not very sticky because it has a lot of uh, sun grain within it you know sun is not sticky but clay is and silt is so yeah